better the um, geological formation of the Galapagos Islands. I've drawn here the uh, largest islands we are going to see. On every island, on, especially on the western side, has an active volcano. Okay. The highest volcano in the Galapagos was here. There's a saline light crowd. Okay. You use your imagination think this is a volcano right here. Wall about 2,000 meters above the sea level, about 6,000 feet. The next uh, active volcano is uh, hmm, Darwin. Darwin volcano right here. And as well, we find a volcano which uh, has the second largest caldera in, in the world after the Gorongoro in, in Africa is this one. Sierra Negra. This is a green sea orchid. We are going to see many of them snorkeling later. And as well, we find Alcedo Volcano, where we will find another active volcano, uh, Cerro Azul. This one, which last eruption occurred about a year and a half. Ago. All these five volcanoes are currently erupting magma. One more volcano is here from this one. This is uh, Fernandina. Fernandina one of the um, most active volcanoes in the world, and the most active in the Galapagos. It's in the list of 101 most active volcanoes around the world. It's Fernandina. More than 55 eruptions have been recorded since the last 200 years. More than 55 eruptions, so this is Fernandina. And one more volcano here is Santiago, which last eruption occurred about after 60 years after Darwin's visit. So in the 1997, uh, record the last eruption from this volcano. One more answer is this one, Marchena. Marchena has an active volcano as well, which last eruption occurred in the 1991. As you can see, eight active volcanoes. And here we find that these volcanoes, these one, two, three, four islands, five, five volcanoes are within. Look, all these ones are only erupting magma. All these five volcanoes are within the hot spot area. And the hot spot is a huge magma chamber. It's an stationary area, it doesn't move, it's permanent. So since these volcanoes are still sitting on the hot spot, of course the volcanoes are erupting magma. The other ones, look, Santa Cruz, uh, Española, all these two volcanoes on the Northern Island, uh, the other southern volcanoes as well, uh, together with uh, St. Christopher, are all traces of hot spot. We don't expect any volcanic eruption because they already moved. According to the geologists, the, this tectonic plate called uh, Nazca, Nazca plate is walking or is splitting apart at the rate of 2 to 10 centimeters southeast down this way. Imagine when you are standing in South America. It's about 600 kilometers, I mean miles, 300 miles from the, uh, uh, from the last island here we find San Cristobal. So the islands are heading that way. And according to the scientists, the islands will disappear in about 9 to 12 million because they are walking to a collapsed area. And as well, the erosion will take place and will erode away the older rocks. And since the hot spot is a permanent area, will form new volcanoes because the islands are oceanic. I mean, they have never been connected or linked to the mainland. They were born in the middle of the ocean because here we find a hot spot. So they are oceanic islands because they are continental islands as well. Small islands that once up in the time has been connected to the mainland, such as some islands around the United States or England, in Europe, etc. But here, this one, never been connected to the mainland. That's why I explain as well why the animals have evolved in isolation, always separated, there's a huge, big gap of, of 600 miles. So these islands are actually walking to an area that we eventually know that will disappear. No? But new uh, mountains or new tips will be appearing eventually, since this is an ongoing process. We continue forming or building up new islands and that's the result of the Galapagos Islands. Imagine these volcanoes 
appearing about uh, about a million years ago, according to the scientists in this area, there were five different volcanoes. But look, after after the successive eruptions, all of them joined together, forming a large island of uh, Isabella. This one, look, very soon they will as well join. Actually, this is a little more closer, no? This way. It's a very narrow, about two, two miles only, separates the, the, these two islands. And this is already erupting, no? I mean, all the time, every two or three years, we, we spread an eruption from this island. And this one as well. We know as well that every island or every volcano has a different or harbors a different species of tortoise. So one explains that the tortoises have evolved in isolation. They never crossed because they were before separated by water or as well the volcanic rocks is a barrier, a natural barrier that have prevent the tortoises to walk over the other side because it's a kind of lava we call AA. And AA lava has a very rough surface, it's very gassy and therefore explosive. So here, to be able to walk here is like to, well, uh, to go, people sometimes this is hell or the moon, but it's <coughs> impossible or impossible. Not even the goats cross this area, you know? So for tortoises or for man, it's very difficult. So this here we find five active volcanoes, plus one here and three on the surroundings, eight volcanoes. So here, here we find over there about uh, uh, 380 miles from the last island in Santa, uh, of San Cristobal, this island, the geologists have found old remnants of islands. So these islands has the rocks on this island has exactly the same chemical composition, the same element we find on these rocks right now. I mean, magnesium, calcium, sodium, potassium, and iron, mm -hmm. same element suggesting that those islands were previously here. They were the, these are the second or the third or fourth Galapagos Islands, we don't know. But the, some of the islands have been now located in this area have already walked or moved over that way and have already collapsed. So they are about, uh, they found it about 1,000 uh, meters deep, no? Depth of the ocean, so about 3,000 feet. With submersible, they went down, collect samples, and found down that the rocks are exactly the same like the ones we find nowadays on this island. So those islands are 25 to 80, 80 years, uh, 80 million years, 25, 80 million, supporting better the theory of evolution. Because sometimes you talk about evolutionary changes, and these animals in this island, only 5 million to 10 million is a very short time, but 85 million. A reasonable time to talk about evolution. So, those rocks support better the theory of evolution because now the scientists believe that the animals you find down here they evolve over the island now are under the water. It's very interesting because now it's possible to find out that uh, the rocks we see here are not older than five or ten million years. Even even more interesting, a land iguana. It was found or discovered only about two years ago on this volcano, World Volcano, where we find the highest uh, uh, top or tip from this volcano, was found uh, in La Iguana, very large. Nobody has seen this iguana ever. So about two years ago, scientists landed on this island and discovered a new population of animals, iguana. We find land iguanas in the Galapagos, but they are dark brown or yellow. But this one, after they did a, a DNA uh, test, they found out there are different cells from the other one, and as well they could uh, uh, find out that they are older than the oldest Galapagos Islands. I mean, all these rocks together are not old enough to tell the age of this one. So where were those ones before in that island? If you were standing somewhere over there, this is my nation, you find out the islands are away in that island. The islands that sank already, it seems that they evolved in that island and they came over here. It's a population of 82 iguanas, no more than that. Very big and pink. You know, it's really extraordinary to still nowadays to find such a huge animal new for the science. And it has been stuck in this volcano for a while and now that can prove even better again the theory, theory of evolution because the one of us older than the oldest rock we see nowadays above the sea level. So they evolved previously on that island where scientists found about 380 miles away from the last island.
So it's very interesting. Now the iguana, they look, they were looking for a Latin name. Now 